Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Jerusha Amaregu. The presidency has stated that the 43 farmers that were killed by Boko Haram on Saturday did not have military clearance to be on the rice farm when the attack happened. This is according to Senior Special Assistant to the President and Media and Publicity Garba Shew in a television interview. The President Sokman noted that noted that while not blaming the victims for the incident, the truth must be said. He said terrorists had planted landmines in several places in Borno State and nobody ought to go to these places until the military has cleared such places. Now the military has expressed worry over the trend of some locals in the northeast declining to provide useful information to security agents. At least 43 farmers were killed in the deadly assault in Zambaramari, Borno State on Saturday by a suspected Boko Haram terrorist. The United Nations has said the death toll is as high as 110. The attack was one of the latest in the series of violent effects, if, events being reported across the Northeast. But military spokesperson Major General John Enenche in a television interview said some of these local residents reduced the military effectiveness to combat the insecurity surge in the region by not providing relevant information. And in Lagos, operatives of the Lagos State Environmental and Special Offenses Enforcement Unit Tax Force over the weekend demolished over 1,700 illegal shanties and counterized shops around Fagba railway lines at Gege Lagos State. During the demolition exercise, Chairman of Agency of Lying Ka Ebayemi disclosed that owners and occupants of these illegal shanties and counterized shops have been served a seven day removal order by the government based on a series of complaints about criminal activities around Fagba Agege. He added that after the expiration of the removal order, the government gave them additional 21 days grace to remove their belongings and vacate the entire area before embarking on demolition exercise. And in COVID, America should provide for a surge upon a surge in coronavirus cases as millions of travelers return home after Thanksgiving holiday. This is according to top U.S. scientist Anthony Fauci. The United States and the world's worst effect is the world. Most affected country with 2,666,831 COVID-19 deaths. President Trump administration has issued convincing messages on mask wearing, travel, and danger poised by the virus. Fauci, while speaking and to journalists, says that there will certainly be an obstacle because of what has happened with the travels. He added that the trend is animus, Fauci, and with the Christmas holidays, sure to bring more travel and family gatherings. And in business, the cost of air tickets along several routes has doubled due to the high demand for air travels in light of the rising insecurity in the country and cost of flight operations. The check on ARIC Air website shows that there were no available seats and the price for the four available seats was fixed at 52868 each for afternoon flights and at 57045 for morning. Confirming the increments, the managing director of aero contractors, Ado Sanusi, said that airlines could not assess foreign exchange at the official rate while the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria has increased fees. Sanusi said export airlines were given special concessions. The prices could rise and could hit an average of 100,000 naira for even Lagos to Abuja route. And in international, in the first TV interview since losing his re-election beat, President Donald Trump has indicated that he will never concede to Joe Biden and abandon his conspiracy theory about mass ballot fraud. Trump says and reiterated his claims that the election was rigged. For five minutes interview, Trump's first on TV since November 3rd election was mostly a monologue of evidence-free claims concerning election fraud, virtually changed by Bati Romo. Despite Trump's unprecedented attack on the validity of the U.S. election system, his legal team has yet to provide any evidence that stands up in court. And in sports, the Ministry of Youth and Sports Development, Sunday Dari, the minister, has revealed that the sports ministry rejected a bill of 81 million naira to court the grass at the Moshuda Biola National Stadium in Abuja. The minister made this known in a series of tweets and his official Twitter handle. He further explained that fund was not available, adding that there would be an outcry if Nigerians were told that 81 million was due to court grass. The breakdown of the sports military budget for the 2021 fiscal year shows that they had seen different projects. There were still different projects to be carried out in the Abuja Stadium, while four of projects were listed as ongoing projects. 
three others were listed as 2021 budget as new projects. And that's all we have on our package at this hour. Many thanks for joining us. I am Jerusha Amarigbo.